Okay, so here's what we've done. Uh, we've now prepped the CPU dies uh, right here and the VGA die, or graphics processing unit, with the Arctic Silver. Um, took a dab on it and used just a regular card uh, to apply evenly. Uh, I've got thermal sensors in, in place. I'm going to raise that up so you can get a good view. Uh, the next step is to apply the liquid cooling uh, blocks. These are coolants. They're going to go like so uh, on top of there, but first you have to remove this plastic. So as you remove that, you see it's, it's highly uh, reflective. Um, and we're going to be very cautious when we place it down uh, as to not sandwich the die. I'm going to just rub a little, little sideways, left ways to you know make sure we get a good thermal seat. Uh, also, make sure I don't feel this wire here. So, so far it feels pretty good. Um, now that that's done, uh, we've got these crosses already kind of prepared. The screws are loose. These simply go right over the top um, on there and they will, in the end, they will hold this VGA die down. So I'm going to just apply pressure, loosen these screws somewhat. Um, until I see, uh, you know, see, for me to put on uh, the, the original CPU clamps um, on the system. So now that, now that they're on there, I should be able to rotate this board up um, with that in the position there. Just keep going. And start getting the clip in the right place, and where's this one at here? Right. I hate these things. So now that's on there, just kind of snug. And what it should allow me to do is actually position my VGA heatsink back in the right place. And there's a little centerpiece um, that you can see here. That's what I'm actually trying to line up in the middle here. Uh, I suppose it would have been best if I could have done that before. Yeah. There we go. Now that that's all lined up, um, you can see there, the center hole's aligned. It's just a little, a little pin uh, that lays down in that hole. And what you can do is just slowly, slowly tighten. You're, you're not trying to get any more than just enough pressure to absorb heat and also not allow rotation. Okay, so we've got the um, graphics processing unit uh, heat sink down. It's the, it's the one with the low profile hose connections. It's got a, a four cross thing and again, it just takes a little bit of trickiness to get the original star that came off the back of the other heat sinks in there. And what I realized from that first one is there's a pre-aligned pre hole in the, in the pen and a pre-aligned hole in there. So you want to go ahead and have that uh, locked down. Also, again, make sure you remove this uh, protective coating before you put it on uh, the heat sink. So that's off now. Um, any dirt or debris you want to clean off, there was a little print there. Um, you also want to make sure that Cool Ants is going this way on the board. So I've got center pressed and I'm just going to line up these holes 
In fact, I'm just going to drop it down like this. And then as I do that, uh, I've got the, the thumb in the hole. I'm going to flip up the board so that I can see those, those pieces. And I'm going to one by one just try to grab each of those each of those little pegs. Uh, so there's the top one on that side. Uh, top one on that side. Um, I'm click the bottom one in there and then we have one more. It's always the, la the, uh, the last one that seems to kind of be the trickiest. So don't, uh, don't fray if it takes a couple of times to get right. There you go. Sometimes you just have to move the X around to kind of find the middle. Once you've found that middle, what you'll find is your heat sink is, is fairly loose. You, you kind of want to wiggle it back and forth. Um, make sure you're kind of in the right place and then slowly start going around the cross and tightening all the screws. I'd go in opposite directions. Um, make sure you don't bend these capacitors out of the way. And as you do that, you you can actually feel the spring tension here. As you do that, you'll feel that and you'll feel the block start to tighten. Now again, you don't want to break the die. That's the most important part. So you just want to get it secure to where you, you know there's a good thermal, thermal um, I guess, presence, for lack of a better word. That block is definitely touching that. Um, and again, you can feel it here, you can feel it here. At this point, we're almost, that, that's really all there is to it. We're ready to start hooking up the hoses and, and um, you know, going back from there. But that's the basics of it. You, you, you reuse the original two star clamps. Now that they're on there, they're on there pretty good. Um, get the right amount of tension, but not too much. Um, and there you have it. It's attached.